Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be installing the Manual Supra's first part that I've installed myself. It's a very simple install from what I can tell. I don't think it's really gonna take all too long. Check it out. Pretty excited about it. It just came in earlier today. I had it brought to my work and I was pretty busy. So I'm kind of eager to get it installed. Just finished with what I was doing. It's a little late. It's like almost 10. I really wanna make this video and I wanna get this wing on. Here it is. I'm gonna set it down real quick. It's the Street Hunter duckbill wing. So funny, I wanted to, I was hoping I could just put it all in my car, but the box was huge. So I wanted to keep the box and the only way to get in my car was to like smash it and open it up and make it really, really small. Let's get a record me opening it real quick. All right, so as you guys can see, it's the Street Hunter wing. It's the, the duckbill. A lot of people, they run like, I don't know the name of it, I think it's called the V1, where it like mounts up on the sides and it's like a, more like a high rise. I think that wing looks really good, but it's not necessarily what I wanted to run for the car. I wanted just a simple duck bill. But I think this has a really clean look. I don't see it all the time. There's like this other company that I don't remember the name of. I think this one looks really good and I don't see it all that much. So that's what we're gonna be running on my car. Time to open it up. They did a really good job packaging this. I was actually pretty surprised. Check it out. Certificate of Authenticity. Thank you, team, a street hunter. Quality stuff. Let's get into this real quick. I'm not sure if it actually comes with double-sided tape or not. I'm really hoping it does because I don't believe I have any and that would kind of make this a little more difficult because it's late. I don't know where I can buy some right now. So we'll see how that goes. Here it is. So, as I just said, I really hope it comes with double-sided tape. And unfortunately it doesn't. So, I either gotta find some or I'm gonna have to record this tomorrow, but I think I have some lying around. I hope I do, because I really wanna get this installed tonight. I just cleaned the car too, so. Let me show you guys it though real quick. It's super simple. There's really not a whole lot going on with it. It's nothing crazy. But here, let me get my flashlight real quick. The quality looks great on it. Stamp two on the X on the other side. I'm gonna show you. Ooh. Street Hunter official product. I don't really know if you can see it. This is Street Hunter Official Product 60. I'm not entirely sure what that means. Maybe that means this is the 60th one they made, which would be pretty cool. But yeah, let's go see how it looks on the car. Check it out. The fitment looks really nice. I gotta go get some double-sided tape. I'm pretty happy with it. If like you kind of like look from back here, Actually looks a little bit bigger than I thought it would look. That's okay. I still think it looks really good. I gotta get some double-sided tape so I can actually mount this thing. I'm very lucky. We have plenty. So I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting this up, getting this actually on the wing so we can mount it. This is fucking difficult getting this off.
this makes it so much easier separating the plastic from the tape. I was losing my mind trying to figure that out. So I think this will work <laughs> with the amount that I put on it. This is just to get it on. If anyone has a better recommendation for how else I should do it, just let me know. If it flies off, I doubt, which I doubt it will, then a lesson learned, I should have put more tape on. But we're gonna go try to line this up on the car now, stick it on and uh, see how it looks. We'll see how this works out. So I straight up just eyeballed that. Like I sent it to see what happened. I'm really happy with how it came out. You can see the fitment over there. There's a fitment over there. To me, that looks pretty similar. That looks pretty good. It looks crazy from that angle. Let's back it up a little bit. I'm probably gonna go pull it out, pull it somewhere a little bit more well lit so it's not just in the garage. And uh, actually see what it looks like outside. All right, I finally found somewhere outside that has good lighting, car washes. Always have good lighting or decent lighting. But who is the spoiler? I'm really happy with how it looks. I think we're just mounting it, just like literally eyeballing it. The fitment's really good. Not too bad. I'm really happy I went with this one over the other style, just cause it's, it's a little different and kind of for what I want to do for the rear end, I think it, it looks really good. But here. I'm gonna get a couple better shots real quick and kind of make a teeny little edit out of it. Hope you guys enjoyed those clips of the new spoiler. I'm really happy with how it came out. I think it looks perfect. The fitment on it's amazing and it was easy just to slap on really quick. I went into the install with no game plan other than hoping that it had double-sided tape, which it didn't, but that's fine. We got around it. I put this video together really quick. I have work tomorrow. I'm gonna try and edit it tonight so I can post it tomorrow morning. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed and uh, I'll see you next time.